one practical matter that I try to confront or present to my clients when they're pushing back on this idea of maybe opening up a little bit and being a little more empathetic. Um, we, we, I often introduce the reminder about Maslow's hierarchy of needs that the psychology that says we as human beings exist on various levels and some of the most base level you can think caveman day, you know, is the, is the tiger going to eat me or am I going to eat it? And, and it, the the whole food safety and shelter is the baseline then you get up into a level of community and then above that you get into kind of the notion of feeling loved and appreciated and then above that so on and so on and it's only at the top of that pyramid that you get into self-actualization or what we need at work is optimized work effort. <laughs> so you've got all these rungs on the ladder that people need to have fulfilled before they are ready to do the work. And some old school leaders, and I'm certainly qualified to talk about old school leaders, um, look at it and say, BS on that, I'm paying them to do a job, get to work. And it sounds like you had that in the construction world. And I certainly can relate to that spent my time out there too. And um, so there's that school of thought about, I don't need to worry with all that. That's their problem. You know, they need to go fix it. But I think the reality is more and more leaders who are running bigger companies are realizing the demand, you know, the workforce is telling them, I need my leader to be a little more understanding of where I'm coming from and what I'm doing. And if you're not willing to do that, Mr. Leader, I'll go find a job with somebody that does. And, you know, people are voting with their feet out there.